One of my earliest videos was a Ramos Gen Fizz, where all I did was pour at the end. I was going to make a video where I put it all together, shake it up, and uh, demonstrate. Unfortunately, the battery died on the camera when I did that, so we'll do another just pour the Gen Fizz. Uh, what is a Ramos Gin Fizz? I have it in the book. It's a it's a gin drink where, with a heavy cream, egg white, and some citrus. And when you pour club soda in it, it's the foamy head should rise. Uh, since I'm not putting this drink together in front, I'll just mention the ingredients. Uh, I would have two ounces of gin. I'm using this limited edition Flora Dora Hendrix gin. It has heavy floral flavors to it. Um, you'll also need club soda to make it rise, which we'll see in just a moment. Uh, an ounce of heavy cream, then you need some simple syrup, lemon juice and lime juice. Uh, I've been, been toying around with the ratios on those. Uh, then you need a few droplets of orange blossom water, which I have here plastic on here because the cap broke. Uh, you only need a few droplets because this stuff is very potent. A little goes a long way. I should probably get it like a bit, uh, like a dasher bottle for it, so I can easily administer that. But I don't use it that often. And an egg white. So you put all this stuff together in a shaker, dry shake it for a minute or less. Then you put a whole ice cube in, and then you shake that ice cube till it's completely gone. It takes me about seven minutes, so it uh, works the arm muscles pretty good. It's uh, this drink is not a favorite of bartenders to make because the amount of time it takes to prep it. So enough of the talking, let's uh, get the drink. I will uh, get it right out of the freezer. I put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes because one of the troublesome things is unless it kind of solidifies a bit, that head's just gonna foam over. So by having it sit there for about 10 minutes or so, it'll allow it to kind of solidify a bit. So taking it with just a real thick straw, puncture a hole right through to the bottom. And I already have the club saw can cracked open. Carefully pour the club saw right in that hole that you popped right in there. Feed it in and we got ourselves Ramos Gin Fizz head rising. Try maybe a little more. See if. Oh, I think that's all it's going to do. It's because it's most likely going to mushroom out. And I got this neat straw from uh, Cocktail Kingdom. It's a metal straw and it has a stirring spoon on there. Nice thing is, I could also use it to uh, scoop in. Eat my gin fizz. This is uh, has this lovely light citrus taste to it. That's why I have a saucer here. It's gonna spill over. It's a uh, quite like a lovely milkshake. Very light, very airy. I thought about making this drink because right now we're on day two of smog of uh, smoke actually from Canada rolling in. So figured. Let's have some nice white fluffy clouds here. This is one of my favorite drinks because it's just so pleasant, so light t tasting, very fruity. And I do love my gin drinks. So this is the Ramos Gin Fizz. It's worth taking a, a stab at it. Maybe uh, watch a few other people online shake it up and uh, took me a few times to finally get the uh, the gin fizz to actually rise without mushrooming over so cheers here's to hopefully uh blue skies and white clouds once again till then i'm gonna enjoy this drink